Blog here, and this uh, lesson is on add and subtract mixed numbers. Okay, this would be lesson uh, 7.7 .7 in the textbook I'm following. So our common core is we're going to still continue to use our prior knowledge of operations on whole numbers to build fractions from unit fractions. And so our uh, question is going to be how can we add or subtract mixed numbers with common denominators? Okay. Uh, all right, so here's some prior knowledge, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is cut this uh, square up into four equal pieces right there. Okay, so there's four equal pieces. Now, if I shade one of them right here, can you see this is one out of the four shaded? So this would represent one-fourth right there. Let's shade two of them, you guys. Can you see this would be two-fourths, this uh, piece and this piece? So there's two out of the four. Two-fourths is, is half the square right there. Can you see it's half the square? Okay, so two-fourths is the same as a half. There's three-fourths right there, and then there's four-fourths right there. Remember, anything over itself equals one, and I've shaded the whole one square right there. All right, what if I did this, you guys? What if I added one square plus a fourth of a square? It would be one plus one-fourth, or one and a fourth. Okay, do you see that? And then if I did uh, one plus a half a square, uh, that's going to get me one and a half. And then one plus three-fourths of a square is going to get me one and three-fourths. If I add this one square plus this three-fourths of a square would get me one and three-fourths. And this is what we're going to be doing in this lesson right here, you guys. All right, so uh, uh, after a math party, there was a one and four-sixths of a pizza left on one plate and two and three-sixths of a pizza left on another plate. So how much pizza was pizza was left? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add these numbers here. We're going to add the fractional parts of the mixed numbers first, you guys. So here's my pizzas right here. And since I'm dealing with six size parts, I cut the pizzas up into six size pieces. Sorry, tongue twister. Six uh, size pieces right there. All righty. And then uh, so here I have uh, what I'm going to do is shade four six over here. So let me go ahead and shade four of the six right there. Can you see there's four pieces shaded and then I'm going to shade the three six in green and I'm going to go ahead and put two of them over here on this guy and then shade one more over there so there's a, a one six two six and then three six right there shaded in green okay so here I have uh, these guys add up to seven six right there so if I add these guys we're going to go ahead let's just go ahead and add these two numbers here just like adding up these six size pieces right there 4, 6 plus 3, 6 is 7, 6. And then if I add 1 plus 2, that equals 3 right there. So it's 3 and 7, 6. Well, let's think of that as a model right here. Let's go 3 and 7, 6 represented by a model. Here's the 3 in red. There's 3 guys right here. This represents this right here. And then here's the 7, 6 that we just did right there. Well, can you see I have four complete pizzas being shaded right there? So um, uh, I can. the model shows there's a total of four holes and then this one little one six left over. This is in terms of six because there's six size, or six slices right there. So this uh, comes out to be four and one sixth. Okay, so there's there's four and one sixth of the pizza left over. Okay, all right. So uh, here's another way, you guys. Uh, we already added this before. So we added one plus two is three, and four six plus three six is seven six. Well, let's treat this seven six as six six plus one six, because six six plus one six is, is seven six. Boy, that's a tongue twister. Okay, and then six six is one. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, I'm going to represent that as a one right there. So this six six is this one right here. And then I'm going to add three plus one is four. We still get four and a six. It's just another way to get four and a six. Okay, so whichever way is comfortable with you or whatever way they're uh, asking you to do. Here we're going to subtract some mi mixed uh, numbers. Cleve has three and three fourths of a pie. His family ate two and three six. I'm sorry, three and four six of a pie sorry his family ate two and three six of a pie of the pie so how much of the pies are left over okay so what we're doing is we're subtracting three and four six minus two and uh, three six so uh, what I'm going to do is is first shade uh, three of these guys and then four six of the other one that's why I have how come I have four of them there so here's uh, here's uh, three of them shaded one two and three and then uh, here's the four-sixth uh, shaded right there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract off the two and three-six. So I'm going to cross off this guy, cross off this guy. There's my two. And then I'll cross off the three-six over here. So here's my three of the six. Remember, these are in six-size pieces, and I took off three of them right here. So I can see I have... 
here I have one whole uh, pie left and then this one little one-sixth of a pie left over. So looks like it's going to be, the difference is going to be one and one-sixth. So there's one and one-sixth of pies left over. Okay, so when we're, uh, another way we can do this is uh, to just subtract the fractional parts right here. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract four-sixths minus three-sixths is one-sixth, you guys. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract um, uh, the whole numbers there. Three minus two is one. So that's another way. That's the way I'm I, I'm comfortable with doing on that. Okay. So in any case, you're going to get uh, one and one sixth of a pie left over. Hey, I appreciate uh, you guys. I got a card from you guys the other day in the mail, and I appreciated you. Put a big smile on my face. So thanks a lot, you guys. It means a lot. Take care.